we're going to be setting these tip ups that will lay down the clam thermals. Um, and we've got some deep snow. I don't know. There's like six inches of crusty snow on top. And then, uh, a bunch of slush. And then we've got six or seven inches of ice. So, we're gonna lay these on top of the snow. It's gonna be a warm day. It's gonna be like 38 and above. And with the sun hitting these, it'll keep this hole. Um, it won't ice up. It'll be nice and clear. So on these conditions, I'm gonna just set the tip up right on top of the snow. That way it's visible and I don't have to worry about using my blue tips or anything like that. Now if it was cold, if it was like a 20 degree day, I would have to clear down to get the reel in the water. But on this application, since it's so warm, the reel's not even gonna be in the water. It's gonna be down in the hole, but the sun on these is gonna keep this. It won't ice up uh, and my line won't freeze. If it was like 20 degrees or overcast and it was gonna be a cold day, these need to go down to the ice because if you tried to keep this reel above the water, there's a good chance uh, that buffer zone that it would freeze up. Um, it wouldn't hold that thermal temperature as well. But with a sunny day to this in the high 30s, it's gonna be good. So we'll sound this hole and uh, get a tip up down. I'm in a lower basin uh, at Highland Lake. And um, the spot I usually go to that's so active, it's just, this is so hard walking. I have my smitty slit that's keeping hundreds of pounds right on top of the surface. It's not going through, it's working beautifully, but walking is, uh, is brutal. So I could only make it about halfway, but I've never fished this. This is like an inside cove on a lower basin. So the lower basin, turns in to this cove and we're in about 16 feet of water so hopefully we'll get some good action and I'm gonna post a picture of what I'm talking about uh, and I think we're in about 12 feet of water so we'll see how this does I've always walked by it I haven't fished here so good day to try And when you set these, it even makes a difference how this thing turns off the flag. Uh, I can't have it coming at the least resistance. Uh, I have smaller minnows, so I, you know, if I had a larger minnow, you have a different setting over here that's a little harder to trip. But I keep it off this, coming right off this backside, and that's like the least, that's very sensitive. I'm also going to be in my uh, flip over so I'm gonna set four trips out and then I'm gonna be jigging so number one three more and then get the flip house over and start jigging Something tripped it. 
bait's still on there though, so hopefully it hits it again. Only took it out a couple feet, but that's pretty good. Got the first flag within 15 minutes. Here are the markers I use for these uh, thermal tip-ups by clam. Uh, it helps just identify them when there's deep snow. I still got them on top of the snow, but if they were sitting low where I didn't have you know, these certain conditions today that let me do this where they're down low and you can't see them. These markers, they're just for uh, snow plows. Uh, I added some black tape just to give another, you know, distinguishing factor of them. They have a reflective thing. Uh, the only other thing I could do is add like a little ribbon on the top um, that makes them stand out even more. But, you know, a snowmobiler or a four wheeler, whatever, once they get closer, they can see these. Um, and it really eliminates, uh, for the most part, I would think uh, the traps get run over. I've never had one run over, but I know that's a problem with these laydowns. But this was my alternative. Um, it seems to be working. All right, we've got a fish on. Second flag. Took about six feet. Oh, he's swimming right at me. Here we go. The number one species of this lake. We got a bass and we got a smallmouth. I think this is only my second one. A nice smallie. He's about 14 inches, a one pounder. Dolphins. So we got a pretty good location going on here. Two flags in like 20 minutes. him back down. <laughs> Nothing, it took a bunch of line but it dropped it. We'll get that back down. It's been busy. Just got a flag before this one. So I think like four flags, two have taken my bait. And I got that bass. We'll get this set up and I gotta go back over to that one that just took my bait. Reset that.
on too. We'll check. Feels like the bait's still on there. Yeah. He's hanging in there. <laughs> oh. Right when I get back to the flip over, I guarantee it will go up again. So we've got a good spot here. There's also, I think, a bunch of panfish, perch, and stuff down there. Smaller ones messing with these. The other location I go, there's just big. Finally got one up. Perch. <laughs> a little five incher. They were not biting and then I switched to this little, I don't know what it is. Some little tungsten thing, but there it is. They came right up to meet that. So we'll see if we can get a couple more. They're finicky around here. But this is definitely the, the first uh, lure to have them act instant. We got a pickerel. Well, we are right about, uh, I think it's like 2.30, so we're going to be here till 4, and uh, we'll see if we can turn something up. In the last hour and a half, I just got that one little perch I jigged up, and that's it. I've marked a few things, but haven't landed anything else. Um, so we'll see what we can do. It's hot out. The sun's high. It's, yeah, it's warm. It is warm out today. There's a ton of water and slush. We got a big snowstorm coming tonight. Um, that's going to be snow all day tomorrow. So I'm going to try and get out Sunday. Hopefully, I got to figure out where I'm going to go because it's going to be a mess to get out. I think we're getting like a foot in southern Maine. So it's going to be uh, brutal walking. 
or any traveling on ice will be be pretty tough because we've got two or three inches of like crusty snow and then like six inches of just water and slush uh, so it's a mess out here but good day so far we'll see if we can get another fish um, before the day's over and I didn't bring my blue tip so I just am constantly looking at tip ups but all right. There we go, another small mouth. That's a little guy. Like a 12 incher. Nice. It's been a while. It's been a couple hours. We're gonna get him back down. It's a beaut. Nice healthy one. Nice. Nice, been a little while. We're gonna get this baited up. Oh, nice perch. Finally, oh my goodness. That is taking a while. Oh, he's like an eight or nine incher, but he came up and devoured it. Absolutely devoured it. Nice. We're gonna get him back down. Oh, we got it. Feels like it's good size. Well, I know where all the smallmouths hang out. Oh. I have caught all smallmouth in here today. <clears throat> Which is great. Let me get this out. Bam, right there, another healthy one, oh 12 or 13 incher, we'll take it, right there, smallmouth bass on the clam thermals, love these tip ups. Well, that's a wrap. Good day. I got a long walk back and some nasty slush, but caught some smallmouth bass, a few perch and a pickerel. So a good day. We'll see what Sunday brings. We got a major storm coming tomorrow, a lot of snow. So not sure where I'll get out Sunday, but till next time.
You always got to wait for the credits. This Sunday. Trying a new place I haven't been to since I was just a kid when I worked on a farm. I think we're going to hit up Pleasant Pond in Litchfield area.